This is Kevin Kelly, author of What Technology Wants. Show that to me. There it is, What Technology Wants. So you were giving me the quick uh, synopsis of it. Just tell everybody what it is about. What Technology Wants is a book that looks at technology as if it was a living force and asks if it was a bunch of gadgets and a bunch of wires and a bunch of hardware and ideas and people all connected together and that that living thing had its own agenda, what is it that technology wants? You know, one of the things that you said actually, or actually that someone quoted you about, was the fact that the first sort of use of technology was humans domesticated. Yeah, the idea is is that our, one of the first technologies that humans made was themselves. We are the first animals that we domesticated, and all animals that are domesticated are technologies, uh, and that we have invented ourselves. That humans are something that we invented out of our minds. We physically are different than 10,000 years ago. We have uh, new genetics. We have an extended stomach called cooking technology. <laughs> and our jaws are different, our teeth are different, all of, everything is different because of our, our, our invention of crops and agriculture. And that's just the beginning. We are remaking ourselves, reinventing ourselves, and we're not done yet. So most people, when they think about technology, they are actually thinking gadgets. So what is sort of the thought that people have to put in their minds to expand that definition of technology? I have a very broad view of technology that's I would say maybe closer to culture. And that includes anything that our mind makes. So it might include uh, Leonardo da Vinci's paintings. It might include uh, novels. It would include law. It would include the idea that we have um, uh, ethics. All these things are things that we have invented. And since they are invented, they are technology. Now the difference between just culture, that larger definition, and the technium, the technology that I talk about, is the fact that I think that all this culture is so interconnected, so interdependent, so much linked to each other right now, that it actually forms, in some ways, an emergent organism. It, it forms an emergent system that exhibits its own behaviors. And so that's why I say technology has certain wants or trends. You say that you're seeing new emergent behaviors. Is there one behavior that you've seen, I guess, within a country, within a certain new technology that sort of excites you or, you know, people may not be aware of? The kind of emergent behaviors that technology has, you could, you could stand back and say, well, technology seems to create an education system that encourages people to use more technology. You could say technology has invented a system of advertisement that encourages people to buy more technology. And in that sense, there's sort of a, a recursive self-amplifying system. And there are many ways in which the more technology we have, the more technology we create. And in that sense, it is one of these self-amplifying auto, you know, auto genetic, uh, autogenesis type systems. Hey, Kevin, thank you so much for your time. Hold up your book again so everyone can see it. What technology wants. There it is. What technology what technology wants, and uh, as I understand, everyone who uh, is at the conference today is going to get a copy of this, correct? Exactly. This is a special edition made just for the Techonomy Conference. It's a galley edition, so if there are any sort of uh, typos in it, <laughs> let it slide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. E email me with corrections. Great. Uh, what, what, what's your email address? kk at kk.org. Thanks a lot, Kevin. I appreciate it.